Hello, everybody, and welcome to Shauna Spillin, the Presley Tea. And boy, do I have a story for you guys. This is an update of a story I was telling you before. A federal grand jury is about to hear evidence involving the scammer that tried to take Graceland. Remember? Remember that scammer from Missouri that I told you guys about? Well, okay. Here it is. This is just came through um, NBC News. Um, I'm going to read it to you guys. Okay. Uh huh. A federal grand jury is set to begin hearing evidence this month in the scam to steal Graceland from Elvis Presley's family, a source says. Two sources told NBC News they had been summoned to testify before a grand jury in the coming weeks in Memphis, Tennessee. They spoke on the condition of nobody tell what their identity is because the details of the criminal investigation are not public. So it's a very hush-hush thing, guys. One of the sources who said they were summoned had a connection to the case. The other is close to Lisa Holden, a woman in Branson, Missouri. NBC News has reported that Holden appeared to have connections to fake personas, post office boxes, phone and fax numbers associated with Graceland scheme. Holden did not immediately respond to the request for comment Thursday. The target of the federal investigation is unclear. Elizabeth Clement Webb, the public affairs officer for the FBI's Memphis Field Office, said in an emailed statement to NBC News, It is not practice of the FBI to commit in the existence, possibility, or likelihood of an investigation. FBI Memphis regrettably will not be able to provide any comment. Hmm. The U.S. Attorney for the Western District of Tennessee, which would oversee the case between the State Attorney General, turned the investigation over to federal authorities in June, did not respond to a request for comment, and neither did a spokesperson for Graceland. The scheme made international headlines in May. It involved a company named Nasini Investments, which claimed that Lisa Marie Presley, Elvis's only child, owed millions of dollars in unpaid loans before she died. To collect on the debt, Nasini Investments sought to control Graceland through a foreclosure sale on the historic mansion. The documents Nasini Investments filed turned out to be forged and a judge tossed out the case. Afterwards, a person claiming to represent the scammers wrote the media outlets, including NBC News, saying they were Nigerian identity thieves. In an email to NBC News written in clunky Spanish, a person calling himself Gregory Nasini wrote from the Nasini Investments email address. We sit back and laugh at you idiots and watch you make fools of yourself, the person added. Come find us in Nigeria. But when NBC News followed the digital trail of the Nasini name and other names contact, the scammers used in court filings. The clues led not to Nigerian, but to a small town in Missouri to a lady named Lisa Holden who was also gone by the last name of Howell Finley Sillins. More than half a dozen links seemed separately connected Holden with the foiled scam at Graceland, NBC News found. When a reporter knocked on Holden's door in June, she denied knowing anyone named Nasini and said she did not know anything about a scam to steal Graceland. I have no earthly idea what you're talking about, she said to NBC News. Well, she going to have a lot to talk about now, guys, because a federal grand jury has started their 
at investigation. Evidence is going to be thrown in court. We're going to see how this rolls, guys. It's it's just breaking news. Um, it's crazy. I told you when this came out in May, when they found when we found out this lady, um, a big scammer, but she scammed the wrong company, guys, the wrong people. All right, guys, that's it for breaking news. Know that um, Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern is our book club. We're going to do the rest of Chapter 3 of Baby Let's Playhouse, okay? All right, guys. TCB, TLC. God bless you all. And you know what? I'll see you on the other side. Bye, y'all.